Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. What this video is about today, it's about are you living with a family member or parent who's an active alcoholic? Are you living with an al alcoholic? Because I'm gonna share with you some tips that my family did while I was out there drinking my face off, being a crazy alcoholic. I caused a lot of insecurity in my family, a lot of drama, and a lot of chaos. And these tips are things that they did to help them out when it came to dealing with me. And let me tell you something, I was a handful. I really, really was. The first thing I wanna talk about is secrets. Not telling anybody what is going on in the household. Keeping it to yourself. You know, the old saying is, we are as sick as our secrets. So getting the courage up to tell somebody what is going on. The more you hold those secrets, the more lonely you feel, depressed you'll feel, dysfunction you'll feel, all those negative feelings are really attached to those secrets. So telling somebody about what's going on is the number one thing that I wanna tell you if you can do that. And how do you do that? You can talk to friends and family, people you trust, obviously, who are not gonna tell everybody. You can tell in confidence what is going on, but venting those or, or expressing your feelings to somebody else is really important. If you don't have friends and family, a place you can go to is el -Anon. I know a lot of people don't like AA and 12-step programs. I get that, and I'm not promoting Alcoholics Anonymous and the 12 steps, but el -Anon is a safe place to go to talk to people in similar situations, family members who are alcoholics. They don't allow crosstalk. You can sit there, vent, tell them what's going on, express your feelings, no one is going to judge you or come up to you and say you know terrible things to you what's going to happen they're going to listen to you they're not going to talk about it out of the rooms and you will hear other people express their situations how they're dealing with it you know it's, it's a great great program so Elanon, if, if one of your family members are suffering from alcoholism another place you can go to get support is therapy and I'm a big believer in therapy. Go and see a counselor. Go and talk to a counselor. They can help you work out boundaries. You can, you can discuss what is going on in, in total private, total anonymity. It's a great place to go. It really is, okay? So, so think about that one if you don't want to talk to family members or go to al -Anon. Another thing that may happen in your family is that you may feel that the person is drinking alcoholically because it's your fault that that person is an alcoholic, or you may feel responsible for their drinking, but it is not your fault and you are not responsible for their drinking. It's not your job to make sure that person gets out of bed and gets to work in the morning after a, a long night of drinking. It's not your responsibility to save them from drinking and driving. It's not your responsibility for counting their drinks or pouring their drinks down the, their alcohol down the drain. You are not responsible. And if you're having problems in this area, go and seek therapy. Work out some healthy boundaries for yourself so you don't get involved in taking responsibility or feeling like it's your fault that their person, that person is drinking alcoholically. Work out some healthy boundaries for yourself. Okay, the next one is support the alcoholic in the recovery journey. If all of a sudden, hopefully, and it did for me, and I hopefully it's done for millions of other people, that the person who is drinking alcoholically comes up one day and says, I'm gonna stop drinking. Support them in their journey in a healthy way. Let them do what they have to do, but support them in a healthy way so they can get better and if they get better, the family unit will feel better and everybody hopefully, like my family, will get healthier and learn from those lessons of being an alcoholic and the alcoholic will continue to stay sober one day at a time. So support them in their recovery. The last thing I wanna talk about is that alcoholism is a disease. It's a disease. It's a disease of, it's a disease of the body, the mind and the soul. And it may feel at times that the alcoholic doesn't love you, 
doesn't care for you, doesn't want anything to do with you. It may feel like that, but that really is a disease of alcoholism talking through that person. And I'm not making excuses for an alcoholic. I am not. But alcoholism is a disease. I became an alcoholic. I did and said things in my life that I regret saying. I did not want to be an alcoholic. I did not want to have the disease of alcoholism, but that's the cards I was dealt at a young age in my life. It's an illness, it's a disease, and don't let it take over your family. Don't let it do that. Take these tips to heart, reach out for help, reach out for help, and hopefully one day at a time, you will get the gifts that my family received. My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. I want to thank you very much for stopping by and watching my video. If you can, can you leave a comment below? But can you all do me one favor? Can you subscribe to my channel? Like I said before, I'm Terry G. Stay safe, stay sober, stay healthy. Peace out. I'll see you next time. I'll see you next week. Ciao for now. Thank you.